Hello and welcome to this Beer Clipper video. This is the second in my series around uh, Aeronautica Imperialis. And in this video, I'm going to assemble the Tau Barracuda fighters. Now, this was a lot of fun uh, and uh, goes to show just how well these kits are put together. So hopefully this will be interesting. If you're making these, maybe this will help you, give you some tips and hints uh, and uh, spot any mistakes that I make and put them out in the comments below as well, because I'm always looking to learn also. So let me know what you think, as I say, and I will see you again at the end. Let's have a look at this Tau Barracuda fighter. So I've got the instructions here. I've worked out which sprue is which, and I've got at the back here, this is the sheet that shows what it's gonna look like. I've got my tools, my tools are quite simple. I've got some Tamiya Extra Thin, which I'm gonna try and use. I, I do prefer to use it for plastic kits, but often I get annoyed and go back to super glue. So we'll see how long that lasts. And I've got um, some snips, some um, Zero and Slips snips, and the Citadel Hobby Knife. So you get three ships, um, and I'm presuming that there are options for guns, which is going to make it interesting because I know nothing about it. So um, this will be a multi-part video. Hopefully by the time I get to the next bit, <laughs> I will know a little bit more about it. But I'm just going to go ahead and start working out what goes where, stepping things out and gluing them together. So the first thing, part one on the instructions, involves taking the body of the plane, the upper body here, and gluing it to the lower body, which is quite easy. So first of all, we'll just separate this carefully using the snips, and then I can come along with the hobby knife and clean up any sprue marks or what have you that there are. So uh, get that done. I won't go into massive detail about this build past this first little bit, because there'll be a lot of repeated steps. Uh, but I figure I'll quickly show you how I go about doing this first of all and then I can just do this over and over again not on camera, not boring you to tears for the next steps so what we're looking at doing is clearing off these sprue leftover sprue bits one of the issues is knowing what to remove and what not to and there's a chance I could remove something that I shouldn't which I've just done <laughs> already having looked uh, oh no 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 that's fine that's fine I'm okay I should be I should be removing those bits yeah so refer to the pictures to find out whether you think you're taking something off that you shouldn't um, yeah definitely definitely should be taking that off um, I mean, you can always say it's battle damage if you get it wrong so don't stress yourself too much but yeah, just looking at take, uh, removing any excess bits of sprue with your sharp knife. Let's cut the next bit off, which is this T-shaped bit in the middle here. Yeah, when I'm looking at the other part, and I can definitely say that the things I just removed on the first piece should definitely have been removed. There is no question in my mind. So I'm a bit more comfortable. So there we are. So we have our two parts. Let's just do the same technique here, just very, very carefully. You'll see that I am cutting towards my finger but that's because I'm actually not moving very fast. I'm using it to shave. Now I spent money on a mold line remover, which I've got over there, which I very, very rarely use because a hobby knife is just as useful. There we are. So we've got our two cleaned up parts and you can see that this fits in there. So, let me zoom in a little bit on this. Here we are, we've got our two parts here. What we're gonna do is use the Tamiya Extra Thin. Now I always have it in this Edma Hobby stand because I'm terrified of knocking it over, which I have done once. And the thing with this sort of plastic glue is that you need to, it works via capillary action. So you run it down the gaps um, which can be hard if you can't see the gaps because this actually fits together really, really cleanly. So I might find myself going back to super glue anyway after all this. 
But the way that it works is it actually melts the plastic and you really should be using something like this for a plastic kit, not super glue. So there we are. First bit glued together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue on with this build. I'll put some music on and stop talking and you can watch me put it together. Um, and then we'll take it down to the painting bench. you've watched me really struggle with that last bit and I've realized what it is and I'm a bit irritated actually <laughs> I've not seen this before but the actually the the um, brush isn't reaching into the glue it's actually not getting down far enough now fortunately I do have as you would have guessed I have a spare which I bought and what I'm going to need to do is put this back to one side this one to one side use this one until it gets down until I can't reach it and then pour that into this and then I can obviously make use of that because that is dead waste at the moment. And that is a good third of the bottle. So that's not very good. Uh, but anyway, so we've done the first couple of steps. Um, I'm going to continue on for a little bit more now. I've, I've not got that much time now. I'm going to try and get as much done on this as I can. It's going together really nicely and I do think that the Tamara is the right thing to do if I was actually getting any glue on my brush, that would be much easier. You saw the last bit went on perfectly because I actually swirled it around and picked some glue up but I'm not doing that all the time so I'll make use of this and then combine them when I need to. Uh, so yeah so we'll move on to uh, finish off step three move on to step four and probably that's where I'll stop so I'll probably go to step four which is a couple more bits and pieces so I'll put some music back on again now. <laughs> yeah I'm enjoying this a lot actually really enjoying it really glad I bought this and I really can't wait to uh, get a game so let's get on with uh, putting it together and then I can get it painted. And painted. Assembled the other two models, as you can see here. This is the one that I've been doing on camera. Just quickly assembled those. It took me a couple of minutes, not very long. It's very, very easy actually, once you know what you're doing. Uh, and what I've got to now is step four and five. Now this is where the options come in for the guns. So um, I've had a little bit of a look. And what you have is you have a central gun port, which is here just underneath the nose. And then you can put different guns on the um, on, onto these rotating turrets, which do rotate, honest. <laughs> um, that's not been done very well. I might need to take that apart and do that again. Uh, but yeah, so you have you have separate guns on there. So there looks like there's two options for the central gun and two options for each of the side one. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to do one ship. Um, I'm going to do one ship with each. And then I might leave one ship and try to make it swappable and see whether I can work that out. So, um, so I'm going to have a bit of a play. Uh, but basically what you're doing is uh, for option four, you can either glue part 14 and 15 together or just have part 16 with no glues. And for the option 11 on the turrets, you can have 11 or 12. So it's a pretty simple thing. So we're pretty much done here. So what I'm going to do is get that done, get the armaments in place. Uh, and then uh, we'll have a look at painting. And if I do manage to make the armament swappable, I'll tell you know how, let you know how I do it. But it might not happen. So we shall see. So anyway, yeah, pretty pleased. Quite quite an easy build. Uh, and at the end of the, at the end of it, uh, pretty happy with how it's come out. Um, and uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll bring you back probably next time. We'll be painting.
Well, there they are. The first ones are done. That is the Tau Barracuda fighter. So what I'm going to do now is go and prime them and paint them, uh, and I will uh, bring them back when they're done. I'm probably not going to do the filming of the painting, uh, but I will, might do a little bit of a review of what paints I used. Uh, but I'm going to get them primed up now and then painted over the weekend because I'm doing a paint and chat with my mate who has also bought the same box set. We're going to paint the same miniatures together. It's going to be really good fun. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, Tau Barracuda fighter painted and uh, I will, I will I'll tell you what colours I use and what have you. Um, so they went together very easily, very well. Nice, nice models, really, really like them. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Well, there we are. That's how you put together the Tau Barracuda fighter. After that, as you can see, the pictures I've just shown you, I did go and paint them. Uh, that was really fun to paint those ones, slightly easier than the, the larger Tau fighter, which will be coming in a future video. Uh, but I did have a lot of fun painting them, picking out the colours. I made a few um, misstarts. I went too light at first, and then I decided to go for the darker colour, and that worked really, really well. Uh, and I did do this um, in my Instagram, so if you go and have a look through my Instagram in the back pictures, you'll see the process that I went through for painting these, uh, these fighters. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do make yourself known. I, I love to hear from you and it really inspires me to have all the comments. So uh, that's the best part of doing this is hearing back from you guys. So if you do comment, that'd be brilliant. Uh, and other than that, I'll say as I always am at the moment, unfortunately the war is still going on in Ukraine. So if any one of you is impacted directly or indirectly by the horrible war, then my thoughts do go out to you. And to everyone, please do stay healthy, stay safe and stay well.